of course, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information on all six of their incredible sports books over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump into conference championship games. Let's start out with the Pac-12. Friday, December 6th, Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's going to be on Fox. I have got the Washington Huskies winning the North, and I've got the Utah Utes winning the South. I've got Utah winning the Pac-12. Right now, that pays out at plus 550. That's a pretty good payday. Pretty good I have payday. no idea the odds. I didn't know we were doing that part. That's all good. I can but help you out. I have Washington and Utah as well, but I have Chris Peterson walking away with this one. I can I can see that. I think this Washington team is really good this year. Let's see. Washington, I believe, has the, uh, I think they're like plus 200. I'm sure like they're, they're the, the favorite. They're, the they're going to be the favorite. And then Oregon is right behind them and then yeah. Utah. Uh, moving on, let's go to the MAC. December 7th. Ford Field, oh, Detroit, I Michigan. I didn't do a Mac. Oh, you didn't do a Mac? I thought we were doing all of them. Are we just doing the Power Five? I did the Power Five in the in the class in the American. Ah, my my apologies. I bet I can find my Mac notes. Well, with you y'all. you just dig for your notes. And see, this is <laughs> this is what happens when I don't prep Chris on this stuff. I'm just like, hey, I'm coming in. Let's go in the studio. Let's knock this thing out. And he's like, all right, yeah, cool. I'm, Got it. I'm ready. And by by ready meaning. I got most of this stuff. Like, I got this stuff. All right, I'll go on and give mine. Go ahead. Go ahead. December 7th, Ford Field, Detroit, Michigan. And this is going to be on either ESPN or ESPN2, depending on how good the matchup is. Winning the MAC East, I've got the Ohio Bobcats. And then in the West, I've got the Toledo Rockets, but I have got the Ohio Bobcats winning the MAC. And the odds right now are plus 330. How you feeling? Did you have Ohio winning? Probably. Probably. I, think, I had them going 10 wins. I think you had Ohio, and I think you had Toledo, didn't you? No. I know for a fact Toledo wasn't in there. You know, I've got my Mountain West, my ACC. I got all the stuff, but I don't have a map. What about Sunbelt? You got Sunbelt? I've got Sunbelt. Oh, but you, so the only one that you didn't have the was the only map. one that I, I probably wrote some other crap on there that I needed for something else and tore it out and took it's it It's all good. I think you got Ohio winning it. We'll just stick I'll be that. shocked if I don't because I, How bet, about this? I bet coaches. We're going to have it on the website. Hey, you can, you can go to winningcureseverything.com and go to our pick if section. You, if you rewatch the, the, um, the Mac preview, I guarantee you I say it on that. Yes. Because yes. I talk about those things even though <laughs> I didn't know we were doing this podcast. All right, that that's crazy. crazy. All right, let's move on to the Sun Belt. December 7th, now this is a home field matchup, so it depends on whoever's in it, uh, but it's going to be on either ESPN or ESPN2, opposite of the MAC championship game. In the East, I've got the App State Mountaineers at 9-3 and three this year. Okay. In the West, I've got the Arkansas State Red Wolves actually making it to the Sun Belt championship game. I've got App State winning. They are minus 150 favorites as of right now. Okay, yeah. So Sun Belt, I'm, we're the exact same. I've got Arkansas State eight and four winning winning the West, and I've got App State nine and three winning the East, and I've got them winning it all. Okay, all right. So so far, let's see. We both we're got Ohio. Have both both have Ohio, and, and both, both got have App State. App State. And then I've got Utah. You've got Washington. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Conference USA, December seventh. Another home field game. This one's going to be on CBS Sports Network. Out of the CUSA East, I've got the Florida Atlantic Owls. And then in the West, I've got the North Texas Mean Green. I've got FAU jumping back, getting Lane Kiffin another conference championship at plus 300 right now. So. I don't have that one either. Which one is that? Conference USA? No. But I can tell you, you should do something. I should have told you what we do have. Yeah, that that probably would have helped out a little bit. It's all good, though. Let's see. Go to the Mountain West. I got that one. Go to the Mountain West. The Sun Belt. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we just did the Sun Belt. Go we to the Mountain West. Belt. All right, Mountain West Championship. I've got that one, too. The Mountain West Championship at 4 p.m. on ESPN. Another home field matchup. Out of the Mountain West Mountain Division, I've got the Boise State Broncos winning that one. I, out of the West, I've got the San Diego State Aztecs. I've got Boise State winning the Mountain West, the MWC, at plus 100, even money. So I've got Boise State winning the Mountain Division, and I've got Fresno State winning the West. 
And, and, I, you get and I think I think Moore's just stayed to beat him. Okay. So we, we got a rematch of last year. I got a, I got a rematch of last year. Yes, sir. Well, that sounds good to me. Uh, are we ready for Conference USA? Oh, yeah. I've got UAB winning the Conference USA. Okay. I, right, so, I, I should have been able to tell you that without even looking. Right, I'm so, sorry. But who, so UAB is in the West, right? Yeah, UAB is in the West. And duh, 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 I'm trying to think of who I have. What they're doing. Florida International. No, I know it wasn't Florida International. Uh, it, it was probably Marshall. Marshall. I bet, okay. Yeah. It was Florida, I mean, uh, Marshall and UAB. Marshall and Sorry UAB. Sorry about that, guys. That was with terrible podcasting. Hey, you know what? That kind of thing happens from time to time. It's all good. You ready for the AAC? Yes. AAC, December 7th, of course, Championship Saturday on ABC. Another home field matchup. I got another rematch. Me too. Match Central that. Florida Knights against the Memphis Tigers. This time it will be in Liberty Bowl Stadium. I've got Memphis winning it. Memphis is plus 400 to win the conference this year. I got Memphis winning it. Same matchup. I really, we're, when this is all over, we're going to do a playoff preview. And I really wanted to put Memphis in there as that 14. <laughs> Eventually, one of these small schools is going to go undefeated. Smaller conferences is going to go undefeated. And there's going to be so much cannibalism yeah. from the Power Five that they're just going to be like, screw it, put them in there. Let them get a chance. Eventually. They might get devoured, but let them get a chance. We, we ain't quite there yet, but Man. this one ought to be pretty easy. All right. The SEC. SEC Championship, December 7th. Easy. Easy. This is my hardest one. CBS, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Another rematch for me out of the East, the Georgia Bulldogs. Out of the West, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Nick Saban handles Kirby Smart again. Alabama minus 150 to win the conference. So, Georgia. You've got LSU and Georgia. Georgia, okay. I, I really was close I knew, to I, giving I, it I to AM. I remember you telling me that you were. I was there. really close to giving it to AM, and I struggled. I struggled a lot. That, that schedule is so tough. Man. I know it is, but I think they're good. If they run through that schedule, they deserve it. You got Georgia winner? No. Okay. <laughs> Hit you. Kirby Smart winning a big game on national TV? Come on, man. I know. I know. Ain't happening. All right. We got three more before we get to our playoff predictions. The Big Ten. Okay. December 7th on Fox, Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. We got the same one for this one, too, I know. The Michigan Wolverines out of the East, the Northwestern Wildcats out of the West. I remember our records. And we've got Michigan, I've got Northwestern 10 and 2, Michigan 12 and 0. Michigan wins. Michigan okay. wins. Michigan punches their ticket. Michigan is plus 200 to win the Big Ten. Yeah. The ACC, December 7th, of course. Did we ABC. do the Big 12? Not yet. It's the last one. Oh. Uh, December 7th, ABC, ACC Championship, the Atlantic Coast Conference in Bank of America Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Sorry, in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was what about to say, huh? Put this thing down. Atlanta got another me. stadium? Uh, out of the Atlantic division, we've got the Clemson Tigers. <laughs> okay. That was, I've, it, that was a real doozy yeah, there. Very difficult, right? And then out of the coastal, I've got the Miami Florida Hurricanes. I got Clemson. I got Clemson. I'm going with Virginia Tech. Okay. I don't know that I like that. But I love Justin Fuente, and I'm just going to keep riding this horse until I just get tired of beat, getting beat up. You got Virginia Tech beating Clemson? No, 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 no. I mean, I love Fuente. No, no, no. I'm getting him there, okay? I it's got a, him there. I got I, him over Miami. I got him over Virginia. That's not easy. No, it's not. I got him there. No, it that is ain't not. enough. All right, finally, last one, the Big 12. This <laughs> this was my hardest. It wasn't. It, I just struggled with do I want to be that big of a homer. Or do I want to really give AM the props, I believe, for the SEC? This, both teams I had a really hard time trying to figure out. It's AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's on ABC. I mean, it's, it's felt kind of easy to me. Yeah, that's where we're different. I've got Oklahoma. I'm not in love with any of these teams. And then I've got Texas in there. Yeah, that's, and I've got Texas you winning just the go, conference. You just go chalk, and that's why it's I got, easy for I, you. I got Texas at plus two twenty. I'm so, allergic to chalk. I don't. I don't, a, I don't do that. I believe that. 
I don't do that. So I don't I don't feel like I'm allergic to chalk. I feel like no, I am you're in attracted love to yeah, money. No, you're just like a, that's the deal. You just you just you just take all the favorites. I mean, look at this. It, Texas plus two twenty. You got Michigan plus two hundred. Plus two twenty. We hadn't we hadn't played a snap of football. If you're not getting plus three hundred or better, then that's chalk, baby. That's as chalky as it gets. Right, so I got FAU at plus three hundred. I got Ohio at plus three thirty. I got Utah plus five fifty. Memphis Tigers plus four hundred. I mean, come on, man. It may be a little chalky. I'm but talking I like about winning. the big conferences, the Power Five, the ones that matter. Uh, well, here's the deal. Utah, not chalk. Utah, I'm proud of you. That's but a move. Michigan, Alabama, Clemson, and Texas. I mean, Oklahoma is a minus one twenty five favorite to win the Big Twelve. Yeah. So I have Oklahoma in here. I think at some point in time, we're going to find out about Lane Kiffin this year. We've said that, right? About FAU? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Tom Herman? No. Um, Jalen Hurts? Yeah, well, Jalen Hurts. Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley. <laughs> Man, it has been a – we are recording this later than normal. It has been a long day for me. We're – you just keep naming names. I'll tell you, you when you get Lane there. Kiffin, Kiffin, I'm like, Kiffin. No, what? no, I'm not worried about that. No, I know who Lane Kipton is. I've already found that out. I don't need any more information. Oh, man. Um, we're going to find out who, who Lincoln Riley is this year. This team is his team. Those last two teams still had major handprints of Bob. Yeah. Okay. This is his team, and Jalen is a completely different quarterback than the last two that he's had. I think the defense will be super improved, too, with Alex Curry. Well, yeah, but they got a ton of talent. I, I think Oklahoma makes it. I went, not Homer because they're my team, and I've never really rooted for them, but Homer because I really like this team. I like the way they play. I'm going I'm against I, TCU? I'm going. I, no, that would have been. Okay. You know how much that I love Gary Patterson. That's my team because yeah. I'm in the tank for Gary Patterson. I, I'm going to Iowa State. Okay. I, I can really I like this about team that. a lot. And – I mean, that quarterback just, is a player. I like that defense is going to be good. You got Oklahoma winning? Yeah, probably. Mr. I don't. I don't like that though. Mister Chalky Chalkerson over here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make that bet at all. By the way, that's going to wrap up our conference championship games, along with our conference champions. Uh, you can find those picks over at WinningCuresEverything dot com. We will have those posted very soon. So go check them out over in the gambling picks section on the site. Did I make all the picks? Yeah, you did. I don't you have to all. go back and make one more. No, no, I think you're good. Okay. Uh, well, the Mac, you'll have to go and tell me who you think out. Iowa played. Ohio played. Yep. Man. You got it. But let's, that's it. Let's get out of the segment so I can stop talking. Let's move on. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.